Hey guys, John here with a review for you of the Airport Extreme Base Station. Uh, if you want to know what it looks like, check out the unboxing. The uh, reason I'm not holding it here is because it's taking care of my network right now. So I've been using the thing for a couple weeks, enough time to, uh, I think, really get to know it, know what it's capable of and what it can do. And i got to say, the thing is great. Um, it's hands down better than the Linksys wireless G router that I was using. The uh, typical blue one, this one here. You know, that everybody has seen um, around. It's uh, the go-to router. Um, first, start with the, the negatives about the airport. Really, the only negative about it is it only has three um, gigabit Ethernet ports in the back. It's okay, not a big deal. Actually, I only have three things that I'd want to plug into it anyway. So, uh, so that's okay. Um, that's the only negative. The cool things about it now, and you go back look at the unboxing video, is on the back it has a USB port. And what that USB port allows you to do is network up hard drives, printers, anything that plugs into a USB port, uh, you can really network up, which is very handy. And you can also use a USB hub to plug in and plug it in network a uh, ton of drives. Uh, it's actually very easy to do as well. If you're trying to network, say, an external hard drive, which I think is probably the most common, take your hard drive, plug it in, you go to your system utilities, and it just shows up. Um, you know, like Apple always advertises, it just works. Uh, and the airport, Extreme Base Station, really just works. Uh, setting it up took three minutes. Again, same thing. I plugged it in, followed the instructions in my applications folder, and went to uh, airport utilities and followed four steps, named my network, set a password, and boom, it was done. So very easy there. Um, one thing to know now, anybody who has a wireless N-equipped computer, whether it's a uh, new MacBook Pro, I think even the MacBooks are wireless and the new iMacs, uh, any of that stuff, or any PC or something that's wireless and capable. Um, the computer to computer um, time for file transfer is really fast. It used to take me, let's say I wanted to transfer a hour long TV episode to uh, my Apple TV with my old wireless G router uh, from the MacBook Pro to the Apple TV it would take probably six, seven, maybe ten minutes, a decent amount of time to transfer things now with the Airport Extreme from my computer to the Apple TV. It's, it's done in two minutes. I mean, it's easily, easily three times as fast. Uh, my download speeds have increased also. Um, my, my bandwidth has stayed the same, so I think it's just, just faster, and everything seems to just be running a little bit zippier, whether it's my mind or not. Um, you know, is yet to be seen, but it's highly recommended. Um, it hasn't disconnected, it hasn't crashed, like the Linksys, I'd have to reset that thing every day. Uh, the airport's just been really solid, um, and it looks good uh, as well. It doesn't have the big antenna sticking up either, uh, which is very handy. It does get a little bit warm, though, like Echo Fish mentions, so uh, you don't be worried of that, but it's, it's nothing terribly bad at all. It's just a little bit of heat coming out the top. All right, guys, so that's pretty much a review of the Airport Extreme. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I easily give it a 9.5 um, out of 10. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it if uh, you need one. And you can uh, pick it up from the Apple Store, pick it up online. Uh, I think in the United States, Best Buys are carrying them now. I can really get them anywhere. And they will work with a PC as well, um, so no problem there. And it comes with uh, software and stuff to uh, configure it. Alright guys, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and uh, that's it guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.